Hey Brain Munchers, it's your helpful zombie here with another video. I've recently become obsessed with Craftopia and so of course that means I have to put a video out to help my zombie friends. So let's stop yapping and jump right to it. There's a lot going on in Craftopia, so I'll assume you know the basics, as in movement and the mechanics of progressing the ages in the game. Leave questions down below if you're lost and need any help with that, and I'll get a specific video out for explaining. When you're starting out, it's easy to forget amongst all the crafting and exploring that you can create a market stall. However, as soon as it becomes available to you, definitely make it a priority to stack those gold coins by throwing items into your stall that you find around your base. For example, my base is on the beach so I like to pick up shellfish and go fishing for things to sell. Keep in mind that some fish are worth more as a fillet, so I suggest having a fillet table near your market stall and beach. Make sure you're checking the gold price before. On the right side here, you can see the gold price will change after it's processed. This works the same for the cooking pot. There's things you can make that'll make you a lot more money than the raw ingredients. You can have however many stalls you like, so feel free to place them on the different maps you explore. Batteries become a necessity as you're progressing and trying all the new shiny things you unlock with new ages. A super easy early way to get a ton of batteries is to turn the tutorial NPCs on the first island into generator employees. After you've removed them in a very humane way, spawn generators where they stood. If there's bodies in the way, just do a little sweeping motion with your generator and those pesky bodies will slip right off the deck. How helpful! When reloading the island, they should spawn on top of the generators and automatically start running. Mobs that run on the generator will die over time, so keep in mind you'll have to replace them or reload. Now have fun with that information, you evil mastermind. When mining, if you use a jump attack with the pickaxe in your hand, you can mine more efficiently. I tried doing this trick on the trees, but it didn't seem to work the same. Speaking of mining, have you seen these node pancake rocks? Well, they seemingly have endless ore. As long as your pickaxe doesn't run out, you can use these as an infinite source. If anyone has had a different experience, let me know in the comments below. When using your teleporter to find new lands, you'll probably want to make bases on several of these maps. Making your base camp near a teleporter is ideal, but did you know you can move the teleporter in every map? Just hold E while looking at the door name, and you can then relocate it to a spot that suits your needs better. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about my favorite part of the game, gardening and seeds. First, did you know that you can use one pell of water for up to four slots at once? If you stand in the middle and aim at the joining corners of your four plots while you water, you'll splash all four plots and only use up one bucket of water. This works for seeds as well, I found. If you have one seed and stand between two plots, you can plant one seed in both plots. Of course, this could be a glitch or a bug, but this is an early access tip video, so for now, this works. When you craft a plant breeding machine, you can start to explore new plants and make a lot more gold. When placing a plant inside the machine, you have a chance to receive seeds from that plant or from more uncommon plants. I suggest trying to get your hands on a peach seed if you're wanting to stack them in coins. Okay, brain munching friends, those are my top tips for getting started in Craftopia. I hope you learned something new or helpful. This is a brand new game and I'm going to be honest, I have clocked quite a bit of hours playing this hidden gem. What do you guys think so far? I have ideas to put out some more helpful tip videos for Craftopia and maybe tag along as it changes and grows. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're new here and enjoyed the video, please consider hitting subscribe and checking out my suggested video. Don't forget to tap that like button, friends. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm Zombie and I will see you later. Bye.